We start them off with an exercise every single day. It's a free write. Three to five minutes of just writing your truth, whatever that may be. And if, you know, we have this thing called dispel the inner critic and embrace the inner coach. So you'll get students saying, I don't know what to write. I don't have anything to write. And I'm like, I tell them, I said, write, I don't know, I don't know. This is stupid. I can't believe you have me doing this until something starts to flow. But you have to flex the muscle. When a child comes to speak with purpose, you know, the model is, it's a co-teaching model of an educator, innovator. That's what we call our teaching artists who come into the classrooms because uh, their job is to educate and innovate. They are um, paired with a classroom teacher, grades 4 through 12. And so when we come into a classroom, students usually don't know what is Speak With Purpose. And we tell them, by the end of the school year, you're going to write these passion pieces. A passion piece is the piece that you relate to the most, that you can speak to directly because it's about you. My hijab, my choice, my business, mind your own. Where does it all start, right? It's always the question. And for me, it was 10th grade at Renton High School. My mother and I had moved from the South. And um, I, I came from places and spaces where children were to be seen and not heard. And so I would just write in a journal all the time on a heater during lunch. So we're, you know, while other high school students were out at lunch and making friends and doing all types of things, I was on this heater on a daily basis writing how I felt, an opportunity to express myself. And I was just really lucky, and I say blessed now, I like to use the term blessed, that there was a counselor named Marvin Johnson who one day, after many, saw me you know, writing. And he said, uh, you ever think that maybe I could read some of the things you write? You're here every single day. And I jumped at the opportunity for an adult to feel to be able to read what I was I was feeling and he said if you could ever find the words to speak what you write you're not only going to heal yourself but you're going to allow so many other young people to do the same I almost feel like gave me permission to be special and to be gifted to be beautiful to be black and unapologetic and uncensored and uh, once I knew that was safe and uh, beautiful to be all those things. I said, there's no way that um, being afforded the opportunity, I wouldn't do the same for everybody else's child. When I got to fourth and I started doing Speak With Purpose, it was really something that I was passionate about. And now I'm here doing my speech. Because it's happened to me, and not just once, but multiple times, and it felt horrible, and it needs to stop. You feel that moment, being judged for what you believe, being judged because of your faith. No, I've got no love for bullying because you hurt their feelings and you make them sad, hurtful, and they don't like it. All people see is the color of our skin. It needs to stop. What they may not know is the tedious or sometimes even impossible road to help. This needs to change. A lot of people are getting water shaming in every school. This is a stop rape letter. I've got no love for you, Ray, because you cause people to feel hurt. Each day, approximately 12 people between the ages of 15 and 24 die due to suicide. These kids are amazing. You can tell that they really care about their topics. Uh, you can tell that they've been practicing, and I'm just so impressed. We started in Seattle Public Schools 2012, and it's kind of nostalgic. It's kind of like reminiscent to be here at South Shore. This was our first partnership. It's been incredible learning the culture of various schools as well as SPS, seeing the evolution of SPS, really going from a place and space of parents and community members and the school district doing this to now I see more collaboration and the focus on black boys and their brilliance and, and even more in leadership, people who look like the children we are teaching and wanting to lift up who are usually mostly silent in the back of the classroom. And so it's a beautiful time for these partnerships. We've learned a lot. We've learned to meet schools where they are. 
We've learned to pivot and shift our own curriculum as an organization so that we have a better understanding of how to meet students as well as teachers since it's a co-teaching model, where they are, and then work together and build together. We've come to learn that it's just as important as we want the students to have voice that the parents have voice because a lot of what our students learn and our scholars, scholars learn come from home. And so the more that we can function in a positive way as a collective or a, an, an entire community, I really see a lot of growth. And so I am positive in terms of what happens next for us as a community partner with SPS.